The story of Origairo centers on Hikigai Hachiman, a nice girl hating, genuine seeking, romantic comedy allergic high school loner. He meets Yukinoshita Yukino and we spend three seasons of him in denial he has feelings for her. This year I finally went on a pilgrimage to Japan and explore all the places seen in the anime. All locations are pinned in the Google map that's linked down in the description. Hello I'm Leo and this is the ultimate guide to all of Oregairo's real life locations. Oregairo is set in the city of Chiba, Japan. However, season 2 of the anime opens with a field trip to Kyoto. To begin our journey, we land at Kansai International Airport. We then took a train straight to Kyoto Station. Once arriving, we follow the signs that lead to the central exit. Welcome to Kyoto Station, the second largest building in Japan. Let's go. That's only the south. We then took a subway line to Sanjo Keian Station to our hotel. Okay, so we just finished checking in. Our room is uh, somewhere there on the third floor. We are now going to Tenka Ipin Sohonten. Hiratsuka Sensei takes Hachiman and Yukino to this restaurant so they won't snitch on her going out at night. After that meal, we rode the Keihan mainline from Chayama Station going down to Jingu Marutamachi Station. Okay, we're here. It's gotta be over there. In the anime, there's a Lawson that they uh, dropped off from. I don't know which Lawson it was, nothing. No Lawson use looks like how it was in the anime. Yeah, but it's not the same Lawson. Lawson. This wall. Okay. That's what they look like up close. Hotel's right over there. This one. Hotel Hiyanomori Kyoto. Hotel 
You can stay at this hotel to get the full Origairo experience but to be honest, the rooms look a bit old. After all that, we took a bus back to our hotel. Planning for tomorrow's next sight. We're uh, watching kind of neat. <sighs> As reference, tomorrow will be a busy day. Our next stop is Hoshimi Inari, a temple 5 kilometers south of Sanjo Station. It's just one. Tsushimi Inari Taisha is famous for its 10,000 gates that you walk underneath on the way to the summit. From here we went up the summit and trekked back down. Had lunch at the food stalls and rode the train north to Kiyomizu Gojo Station. Yomizudera is known for its main stage during cherry blossom season. The shops and restaurants of Higashiyama district cover the path up the temple. Entering the main hall costs 400 yen. Here you can pray and buy souvenirs. The exit leads to our next site, Jishu Jinja, a shrine dedicated to love fortunes and. Oh. No! Yeah! No! <laughs> no, how could this be? Oh, there's no entering here. This series is Ottawa Falls. 
drinking from one of its streams grants blessings of success, love, or fortune. Just don't drink straight from the ladle or bottling it. Take a ladle and wash both hands. You pour water on your right hand and drink from that. Wash ladle and return. After an exhausting day, it's time to head back and rest. This is the view from our room. Uh, today's breakfast can be Yamazaki. We are now uh, headed off to Yuanji. Very cold morning, it's around 9.18. So we're gonna board a bus over there. Sounds okay, I'm mine. <sighs> I don't know what it says. Let's go. Now we are at Ryongji. There are a few spots here. We have uh, this one. I don't know if you can see it. This one. Right here. It's a good thing we went in the winter. Not a lot of people out here. It's a Monday. information about Tobi and Hina situation there is the uh, little fountain there later and then it's over here it's where you can know left you in Hachima After a quick lunch, we head off to Arashiyama. Okay, so uh, we made it to Arashiyama. These are the places we need to go to. This one, very important. We are currently here. Okay. So this is the outside of the station. Oh, there is. And then Arashiyama. Hey. North of the station is Arashiyama Bamboo Grove. In Season 2, Episode 2, Hachiman makes a fake confession to Ebina here. Man, 
These things are huge. Actually, I think it was here. Ebina should be here. Tobe and Hachima should be here. From here, we headed south to the Ryokan or Hachiman's class state at. It's here. It's closed right now, but it's a restaurant. There you go. At this point, we have seen almost all of Kyoto sites in Oregairu. This is just a tour of the Ryokan, and you can skip to the next section. Yeah. Good, so futon. We have the Katsura River. We get the Sukyo so over there instead of the bridge over there. And uh, yeah. Over here we have the Rotenburo. Is it hot? Warm. It's warm? It's not really recommended to go here before taking a shower. So you take a shower, get in the rotten burro or outdoor bath. Right. We're coming up on the Lawson where Miura confronted Hachiman. She <laughs> Magazines here, Hunter Hunter, and some uh, and some W shit. Let's just see how exploring Kyoto we rode the night bus going to Akihabara this was during the Oregairo Atre collaborations featuring the girls as shrine maidens
partner had to fly back home early, so I was on my own for the Chiba portion of this pilgrimage. At Tokyo Station, follow the signs to Keio Line. The Keio Line goes through many stations featured in the anime, including Station. Going to Tokyo Sea Life Park. That's the Ferris wheel. Siren Cave Park is a land reclamation aimed at preserving the local wildlife. Yui takes Hachiman and Yukino on a date here in the Season 2 finale. Over here is the gazebo. <laughs> these uh, these lampposts are different from designing the anime. The anime had rounder ones. They would have been sitting on that bench on the right. This is the actual spot where he got those drinks. No max coffee though. This little has exhibits right over there. Tokyo Sea Life Aquarium used to be the largest aquarium in Japan. Much of it is beneath the ground, so we entered from the top floor.
my batteries ran out at this point so I checked in at the hotel and restarted at Chiba Minato station. From Chiba Minato, I rode the Keio line to Inage Kaigan. The mall has a department store, a supermarket, and fast food restaurants like McDonald's, Subway, and of course, KFC. In this little park right here, Yukino asks Hachiman to not force himself to attend club activities anymore. This comes after Hachiman secretly aids Hiroha's Christmas event. Outside of the station is the statue Hito. Southwest of it is where Hachiman sat at the start of Season 2, Episode 8. He is then spotted and picked up by Hiratsuka Sensei. From Inage Kaigan Station, I walked all the way to Inage Station, making sure to stop by a very important place. That is huge. Inage Rikyo is an overpass crossing Route 14 connecting Mihama Ward and Inage Ward. In the light novel, Hachiman and Yukino walked side by side for over a kilometer from school without saying a word. They would have continued walking up here to the Inaki station. And maybe this is Inaki station. Uh, this is where Hachiman and Yukina would have parted ways. Hachiman was heading for a ramen shop up ahead when he is spotted by Totsuka in Season 2, Episode 7. Okay. Hachiman would have been going through that ramen shop, this ramen shop. Nagi Station, I took a bus to Kemigawahama Station to board a train going to Kaihimakuhari Station.
east of the station is M Bay Point Makuhari where they had a field trip in season 1. Below that is the scene where Hachiman soliloquies about hating nice girls. On our way to Makuhari Seaside Park, we see the mascots of Chibalote Marines, Marukun and Rinechan. Origairu has done a promotional collaboration with the homegrown team back in 2015. See those buildings right there? There's already season 2 opening the shot. We're going up there. That's Jacob's apartment. There you go. Jacob's apartment. Wonder if I can go inside. I don't know what I've been standing. See, it's right below. <sighs> Looks like I won't be able to go to Miyama Bridge today. It's already 10.30. It's a bit of a ways away. I think I'm not gonna make it to the last train. Gotta get this building first though. And fuck this building, it's so out of the way. Did I say that building? I meant this building. We have a bridge's way over there. It's too far away. Last train is at what 1041. It's really quite risky. Plus it's almost midnight in winter near the seaside. I forgot to go to the other bridge, Messe Bridge. It's uh it's over there. There's Sukanyo Otani. We'll go there tomorrow. For now. I'm going back to the hotel. Today was by far the hardest. Walking alone took me 21 kilometers and 33,000 steps. Tomorrow's forecast? More walking. different than in the anime. I got lost for a bit but heading for the north exit I stumbled upon. Directly uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Max Coffee is exclusive to Chiba, Ibaraki, and Kochigi, though there are some in Akihabara if you're lucky. There's the Ikea. There's the Ikea. I am not going in there. They say it's amazing inside and you get lost inside trying to sneak lost. Plus, I don't have this. Mess, mess it. I don't know how to pronounce it. 
Oh man, I would have loved to rent one of these bikes. Fortunately, in the Japanese sim number, to rent one of those. Oh, it does say Messe. This is the bridge. I think it's the halfway point during the marathon. This is where it's you know, confronted Hayam Hayaka. Unfortunately, you don't have a clear view. Currently, I'm at this spot. Message Bridge is here, and I am going to walk the rest of the way. See that building in the distance? Sikkim's apartment. Recognize that terrace. That's where you can uh, actually invest. Tachima. Right below that. I guess I can enter through here. Inagi Seaside is a huge park and I wasn't sure which entrance to take. Luckily, I entered in the same direction as Hachiman and Yukino did. Seaside. There used to be like cottages here on the on Google Maps. You could see them from way back in like maybe 2013, 2010. But they they're gone now. You can't actually swim here. No one swims here because it's actually not allowed. 
あー冷たい from uh, season one. All right, people. This is where the magic happens. Sobu High School. Well, it's not called Sobu High School in real life, but Sobu High School. Let's see if I can find the entrance. There is another entrance on the north side that is rarely featured. To the side is where Haruno ambushed Hachiman in season 2. Hachiman would have been here. Yeah. If you're wondering where the volunteers club room is, it's probably one of those buildings. Where Hachiman and Haruno would have been walking. We're here. Here's the school. Immediately, here's the park. That's where uh, Hachiman asked what you wish is. This vending machine. Mm. Just a quick detour. We're almost at Inagikaigan Station again. Over here. Yui's apartment. Okay. We're now going to Chiba Community Center. It's just down the street. Chiba Community Center. The Sabinalabish Lupin here. Ayon Marimpia. I don't know if I can go in, so I'll just move on.
didn't know at the time but this bus going to Inagi Station makes a stop directly in front of Inagi High School. Would have saved a lot of walking to be honest. From Inagi Station, I made my way to Inagi Sengen Shrine. Enjoyed the shaky iPhone 6 footage. It was really late and the shrine was closing up by the time I arrived. In the light novel, it says Sengen Shrine was like a festival every day. Or maybe that was just Komachi's misconception. Back to shaky phone footage. I have no more battery left. Need to get back to the hotel. This is it, I think. I just saw the other guy doing the image himself. Yeah. Yeah, just right outside it's to the station. I have to get back to the hotel. After a quick trip to recharge, I find myself once again at Aeon Marimpia. On the fourth floor is Miraya, Hachiman's favorite bookstore. They have everything from textbooks to manga and of course Oregairo light novels. They have Yui's Story Volume 1 and the 4 anthologies. After the entrance exams, Hachiman spent some time with Komachi here. In the basement area is the supermarket as seen in Season 3, Episode 1, and Episode 9. Across the street from Aeon Marimpia, there is a Caesarea where Hachiman planned to fake the election results with his... friends? Accomplices? I took a train bound for Chiba Minato Station. Season 1 Episode 9 features Chiba Port Park where Yui and Hachiman attends a firework festival. Unfortunately, I came here a little too late in the evening. Oh, this ship is crazy dark. There's no one here. It's crazy dark. I'm not going in there. We are here. Where we need to go to is, I think, right there. We're like halfway there, and I'm backing up, man. Power's there, though. Yeah, you can think to see it. After that field attempt, I walked back to the hotel and prepared for my final day. Most of the places here in Central Ward is from the Season 2 OVA, the one where Hachiman goes on a date with Iroha. A 
across the street is Vega Asahi Bowling and yes, they do have table tennis. Down the road is the crossing between Mio and C1. After fighting with Komachi in Season 2, Hachiman spent some time here while he's reluctant to go home. Moving on to another Season 2 location, we find the old Mr. Donut. Shiba Station is like the default meeting place for various points in the series. Sadly, the monument here is in the shadows of the overpass now. Didn't use to before. You can still see it under the sunlight on Google Street View. After the marathon in episode 11 of the second season, Sobu High School celebrates Hayama's win here. And with that, I made my way back to Chiba Station for our final few locations. Sago Chiba is featured in Season 2, Episode 10 and NDOVA. It is where they usually shop for clothing and gift items. Across the street is Junnu. It has a Starbucks where Haruno discusses with Hachiman what degree Yukino might opt into in university. And that was the final location I was able to visit before I left Chiba. However, there are some locations that I didn't get to feature because they were a bit of a ways away and they are only used for visual references. First off is Destiny Land or Tokyo Disneyland. Next is the sauna with the boys in the finale episode. On older street views, you can still see what it was like. Next is the batting cages, Sports Wave Tetsu 124. It's on the second floor of a pachinko parlor. On the inside, there is a tribute to Hiratsuka Sensei. And here is Chiba Park Park during the daytime. Going north to Gunma Prefecture, this is Chiba Mura. This is where they all went camping that one time in Season 1. Now off the Tachikawa Tokyo for the IKEA entrance referenced in Season 3. West of that is this cafe where Hachiman asked Haruno to link the Prom Psycho project. It is located quite near to the building of Studio Field. To the north is a Kaikatsu Club branch where you can rent a room to rent their PC. Next is the Caesarea located in Saitama, which is also where they planned the fake prom. And finally, Kogane Park where Hachiman asks Yui not to wait on him. And that is every single Oregairo locations, and now I am off to Narita Airport. Thank you for making it this far into the video. Perhaps you might find yourself in Chiba someday, and I hope this video will guide you. 
Again, the full map is in the description below and let me know if I missed anything. This video took 3 months to put together and leave a like if you think it was worth it. Subscribe so you don't miss my next video, this time on Makoto Shinkai. With that, this has been Leo. Thank you all so much for watching. See you on the next one.